Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. So today's video is going to be pretty quick and very simple. I'm really excited about my recent Michaels purchases and I wanted to share them with you. So I'm going to start with the canvas first because that's probably the least interesting, but I am excited about some of the sizes and shapes. So I got a six piece, eight by 20 inch set of canvases. These value packs were half off. So I believe they were around $10.99. These are going to be great because I like to do kind of my blown paint pour style on this. And I think I'll probably be pulling out my airbrush soon. It's been packed away for quite a while. Another pack I got was this pack. These are the eight piece 10 by 10 inch canvas. And these are really, really great for my geodes. So I always like to have some of these on hand and I was getting very low on just square canvas in general. And those were also half off as well. So again, $10.99, I think. Next, I got some of their other canvas, which were 70% off, which is the reason why I went to a sale to begin with. So I got three of these 8x8 eight eight inch square canvas, and they are the level one. I think the big difference between the different levels of canvas at Michaels, other than probably being a little bit better quality each level up you go, the level one canvases have kind of a sharp edge. So you can see here, it's like a sharp edge. And I noticed that the level two have a little bit more rounded here. I think that probably has to do with the frame that it's on and the way it's been stretched. And the level three are really deep edges. So I think that's kind of a personal preference. And those of course have what seems to be a slightly better quality and kind of better make. I do have to be careful when I go to Michaels to look at the canvas all over before I buy them because often I see very stretched out canvases or sometimes they even have a cut in them and I want to make sure I check that before I take them home. That's also one of the reasons why I don't order canvas online, at least from Michaels, is I just really worry about how they're going to come to me and I have seen other people have some trouble with that as well. And last but not least, as far as canvas goes, I got three level one six by six inch canvases. And I actually think that I'm going to do kind of a trio of paintings that could go in a house together. I have an idea for this and I think I'm gonna keep it a secret until I do it. So you'll just have to keep watching to find out. Next, I, I always end up grabbing some sort of tape when I'm at Michael's. It's inexpensive and they always have cool patterns. So I grabbed this Art Minds tape. Whoops, it's not wanting to focus. There we go. And this is rainbow. Though my sister pointed out there's no violet in here. They instead did kind of a lighter blue, which frustrated us because we love the violet color. Next come the paints and I will show them to you in kind of the pairings or groupings that I plan to use them in, at least initially. I kind of bought several sets of these paints for specific purposes, and then after that I'll use them for pretty much anything else. So next we have Deco Art Extreme Sheen, and I got Ruby, Sapphire, and Peridot. I'm not quite sure if I said that right. I have used the sapphire color before and I love Extreme Sheen. They're very metallic and very bright. I have something special for these three coming up. Next, I got more Color Shift paint. I haven't used any of these colors before, at least as far as I can remember, and I've kind of been putting them off. I don't really love jewel tone colors, but I have been seeing a lot of people do some beautiful paintings using these colors. So I got these knowing that I already had a color at home to pair with them. This is the color that I already have and I really love it. So I think with those other colors, I can kind of make maybe a peacock colored pour. Last but not least, I found these next bottles by DecoArt and I've never seen them before. I'm not sure if they're new or maybe I just missed them. I haven't really been out to Michael's in quite a long time, but this is what they are. So these are iridescent top coat acrylic and shimmering iridescent top coat acrylic, and then the ultra black base coat that they recommend to go with these. 
These aren't necessarily intended for paint pouring, but I think I'm going to try and just see if they work. I figure if I mix them with Floetrol, they will still be iridescent because the Floetrol dries down clear, but I will have to just experiment and see. If not, maybe I can paint this over some of my geodes in certain spots to add some iridescence. Overall, I'm super excited with all these things and I'm really looking forward to using them in future videos. Let me know which of these supplies you have used in the past and which you would probably try in the future. Also, because I'm not super comfortable with the color shift paints, let me know what you like to use them in. Do you always use color shifts together or do you like to just use one in other paintings? That's kind of how I've done it in the past, just use one of them and kind of mixed it in with other paints. I'm also debating whether they look better with white as an accent color or black. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!